We yeah. know for sure that there's a lot of unknowns. That's all we know. So you gotta breathe. Good morning from us. Good morning, I, good morning, good morning. <laughs> I have a little bit of Zofran dissolving in my tongue, so if you see that, that's what that is. We just had a really cool connection. So when we were down at our North Carolina home a week and a half ago, we met some of our neighbors. Now, we're sitting in our neighbor's living room in North Carolina talking with them. We said, you know, we're from Boston area and they said that they have one of their children in the Boston area and their families in the Boston area. And lo and behold, we live 20 minutes from their daughter and son-in-law and we just got together with them and it was just this amazing connection. They're also involved in a church in that area. When I was sitting there, I was just thinking, I was so thankful for that connection. Not only because it makes us feel like we have family down there, we have family up here. Like, it's just like this yeah. big circle of um, connection. But also sometimes in the grind of like, everyday life I get really like caught up in my head about like okay we filmed and edited that video we need to get this one update uploaded like what are we gonna title it like with YouTube as our job there's a lot of like behind the scenes stuff that goes along with it and sometimes I get really uh, like tunnel vision it, yeah like tunnel vision and things like today getting together with that couple helps me get out of that tunnel vision and I'm just really thankful for that. Okay, sorry, the camera died. We're obviously in another location. We're at home now. I went and helped my friend out. Peter went and edited the vlog. Fast forward, we're home now. He took packages to the post office. I'd love to process for the sake of, we welcome you guys to be a part of the process of life, whether that's pro processing really exciting things and, or sometimes really hard things. And so I'd love, I, a thought came to me today, like right now I feel really invincible on this medication and there are a, a lot of unknowns about this medication and I guess as I was talking with our new friends about it, I got emotional and I was just like realizing, wow, there's a lot we don't know. But for today, what we do know is I'm feeling good. Actually, today turned out to be a little bit of a harder day. Was it about two weeks ago, that day that I like totally crashed? Yeah, when we were at the house. Yeah, I think it was about two weeks ago. Exactly. So maybe it's like I can have two weeks of like, go, 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 push my body. Last night, I fell asleep two hours earlier than I ever do. I'm definitely pushing myself, but in a good way. Yeah. And today, I just didn't feel quite as like, good but I was really glad when I got home I was like do I need to lay down what do I feel like and I decided to push through I did my 30 I guess it was a 35 minute workout I did however need to alter it but today's video is sponsored by Home Chef and we are really thankful because they've come out with this new thing that I am so psyched about we showed you guys in the past we've been doing their oven ready meals and it's meals that come in a pan all ready to go it's still the same fresh ingredients as the other ones but it takes a lot of the prep and dishes and stuff like that out of the process so they're like ready in five minutes to go in the oven and then you cook it and then you eat out of that tray like we ate our first meal in our ho new home as an oven ready meal, but they have a brand new plan that's different than their classic Home Chef plan, and it is called Fresh and Easy, and it's all of these oven ready meals. They have oven ready meals, grill ready meals, they also have entree salads. So if you sign up for the Fresh and Easy plan, then you have, I think it's nine options every week of meals you can choose from that are all these oven ready or grill ready uh, meals. So that's like right up our alley because... So much because we do not have a dishwasher here, as you guys know. <laughs> and so less dishes is always a good thing. So let's make some dinner. So we're making the chili brown sugar pork chop. We got broccoli, sweet potatoes, and what is that like cheese in there? It looks like parmesan. 
That is amazing. I feel like we should time how fast this takes. Okay. Right. I'm gonna read the instructions so I know what I'm doing. Go. And get ready to stop the timer as soon as I get this butter one. Butter fingers. Uh, yeah, I have butter fingers at the moment because Boom, how long? Two minutes and 51 seconds. Look at that, and I'm pretty sure I could have prepared that meal a lot faster if I had scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Once the oven is preheated, it's going in. Oh yeah. It looks amazing. Actually, dare I say, looks better than the picture. The idea behind this fresh and easy meal plan is that it's no prep and no mess, so we're just gonna eat out of the pan and enjoy the simplicity. We hope it can add some simplicity to your guys' lives. If you wanna try it out, they're offering $80 off of your first four boxes. So you can use our link in the description, use the code Mary and Peter 80 and basically your first four orders of boxes you can get $20 off of each of those so you can kind of give it either a solid month or do one skip a few weeks do another one and it'll give you those $20 off of each of the boxes till you hit the $80 off cheers cheers mm -hmm. oh yeah mm. good stuff Ollie's finishing his dinner just as we're finishing was that delicious? Well, it was sitting on this chair when I wanted to kind of recap what that oh, conversation yeah. was like. Yeah. So basically I was explaining to our new friends about this new medication I'm on and I was saying, and this whole conversation wasn't like a big emotional conversation. We were just telling the facts. You did cry though. Well, I, yes, but I was saying like previous <laughs> to that, it wasn't like a whole crying conversation, but this part, evoked tears I guess I really feel invincible right now you know one month a, a little over a month in on this new medication and it has done more than I ever knew to even dream for um, just so much less mucus and so much less coughing which has enabled me to feel able yeah. I'm able to go take care of my friend. I am yeah. able to help pack our house. I am able to go to church and sing on worship team. I'm able, I just feel, I feel like I can, because yeah. I can. And, and of course I've had a couple of days where I can't, and that's okay too. Like that's part of the journey. It's not, yeah. it's not all perfect. But as I sat here and I said, we don't know what the future is. Um, the longest somebody has been on this medication, because it's still, it's not approved by the FDA yet, and there have been trials going on, but the longest somebody has been on it is about a year and a half. And so there are a lot of unknowns. What are the long-term side effects? How is, you know, one month in, my liver's handling it just fine? Mm -hmm. How's my liver gonna do long-term? Uh, after I got my blood work done on Friday, my platelets are down significantly enough that we're gonna have to watch those. And is that a seemingly simple issue, is that gonna be a reason that I'm gonna have to come off of the medicine? We don't know. And there, there's no way to look into the future and know what, it, what it's gonna be. But as I sat here and I thought, I feel invincible right now, but the reality is a year and a half down the road, things could come up or for some reason I might have to stop this medication and that's when I started crying because I was like, at this point, this medication is allowing us to push pause on the transplant conversation, even though it's not, it's, it's not really on pause. I'm still connected with the liver transplant team and the lung transplant team, and there's constant communication with them. They're keeping up with my health. They have tests that they want me to continue doing and that sort of thing. The reality is still there. That there are those unknowns, and yeah. that's scary, and that's what made me cry. I was like, ah, oh, my bubble got first like I feel invincible 
and I'm gonna live in that like yeah. feeling well and feeling able I'm gonna do all the things that I feel like I can and I want to do and that I'm called to do today and and then if a day comes where I have to come off of this medication for whatever reason that might be I'm gonna walk through that just as God got me through the first 30 yeah. years until this medication came out he'll walk me through that as well but man it makes me cry just thinking about if I would have to stop this medicine yeah and we were kind of talking about you know we don't know how long like if it'll be a long-term help or if this is kind of a short-term boost like we just don't know and so right now it feels very certain like should just wake up tomorrow and have less coughing and all that yep. um, but isn't that true for all of us in life like we just don't know what the future holds and we have to embrace today and yeah. soak up whatever today looks like and God will give us grace for tomorrow That's and right. we'll walk through whatever it looks like and hopefully it'll be many days and weeks and months and years of stability but we're gonna hold that with an open palm and trust the Lord with whatever the future holds. It's so interesting that like, when I'm in the midst of IVs, it's hard to remember normal life without IVs. And like here I am in the midst of a month of a reprieve from as much mucus and as much coughing and it's like, that was, it's so hard. Yeah. to dread waking up every morning because I'm drowning in mucus and like it's hard and whenever that is my reality again whatever like yeah there are all the options but like meaning it, my lungs will eventually continue declining I presume unless some even crazier than this medicine comes out yeah but but I mean of course I guess it's just, it, it, it catches me in the middle of, I'm not gonna sit here and ask all the what ifs. Yeah, yeah. But I'm going to use today for what my body can do and acknowledge the possible risks and possible conclusions in the next month, months, year, years. We know yeah. there's a lot of unknowns. Yeah. We know for sure that there's a lot of unknowns. That's all we know. Yeah. But. I don't even, I don't know. I think probably this was just me, like the beginning, the processing of that. Yeah. Um, you know, my mind instantly goes to if this medicine either stops working or I have to stop taking it for, for whatever reason. Like, I hate the thought of like my family watching me re-decline or whatever, but I can't control any of that. And like Peter yeah. said, God will give us grace to walk through whatever comes ahead yeah but um I mean I, I think the reality is we all see this I mean and I think you guys on the fry life have echoed this sentiment of this is a gift like that we didn't expect coming right like this stability like it it far exceeded any of our imaginations and so um you know the uncertainties are certain, but we also are certain that God is walking with us on this journey yeah. and he'll help us in whatever lies ahead and we'll bring you guys along on that journey. That's right. And as always, we'll, we'll see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, good night. night. Good night, Ollie boy. Oh, can you say good night? You love it out here? You love it outside? You love it outside?